Yo, what's going on everyone? We're back with more MLP and I know my bed is still destroyed. I need to fix that, which I will. So hopefully the next time you see me after this, it'll be clean. But today we got more MLP, no snacks today, but have some caramel or do we call it caramel? And you know, the thought just came to me, like we say caramel corn, not caramel corn. What way do you say it? No, that's such a YouTuber thing to do. But yes, do you say it caramel or caramel? This is a caramel. Uh, all right, guys, let's get into it. My Little Pony, Friendship with Magic, Season 4, Episode 12, Pinky Pride. Yeah, the, yeah, the horse, the ponies, ponies and the, so hard. the buffalo. Thanks to me, cheese. Cheese. cheese sandwich. <laughs> okay. Interesting name. He has the pinky twitch. <laughs> that was a doozy. Well, boneless. Pinky's brother? Looks like our next party is gonna be in Ponyville. Huh. My little pony, my oh, do Earth Pony just have um that that itch? They're starting right off the bat with the song. Yes, Pinky? You realize that by enlisting me as your party planner, I guarantee that this is going to be the funnest, most spectacular. <laughs> She's serious. Uh, you will have the best <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the Coca Kamai. Okay. okay I, I don't know if I, I like the random character we just met um, have a song. And also, yeah, I guess you could see in like this rivalry way. She has the first song and then hit the second song to counter her. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh no! I don't. I want this episode now. Dang it! I don't want to feel bad for Pinky, man. Uh. Yeah, so you're kind of reconsidering everything right now. It's not episode. Ah! We're crying, I got goosebumps. Ah! I want my green goosebumps! Oh, and I love that. I love how she picked herself back up. I love that. It's like she, like she didn't fall into like this dark place or, you know, act out. I mean, yeah, she still felt it, but like... See? Oh, wow, man! And no one's I capable of doing that. Oh, the ponies, like, they all just kind of wallow in their, in their pain and stuff. Well, Pinky just like, nope. We're back to it. I love that. Okay. That's it, does it. Are you in I love already the the hopping. You know, I will say her singing is a little bit repetitive, a little bit. Well, what? We got live action puppetry. All right, getting experimental here. Rainbow dash. Yes, she was discovered. Her purpose. Goosebumps? Am I right? Oh! Dance. Are we getting Pinky Storm? I mean, we've already kind of got it. But... Oh! Oh my god! Yes. Goosebumps! Really? So I was the pony that threw the awesomely spectacular yep. party that inspired you to become an awesome and spectacular party thrower? Swear on Cam and Bear! They're buddies! They're pals! Do people ship them? Wow. I'm not saying this episode was like kind of whatever, but the way that Jesus, how it just randomly just got like connected. Ooh. Hey, you like the song? Oh, and they work together. This is awesome. 
Hey, this is a banger. Oh, popish ones. I love these songs. Oh, the other boys are dancing? So stupid. Yeah. Birth anniversary. Because uh, it's also the anniversary of them being a pony bomb. So dumb. The You're chicken. You're giving me your special rubber chicken friend? Oh, he's <laughs> not the only one. <laughs> what is he doing? The outro music is different. A pinky centered episode. We don't get much of these. The last one might have been the one where she clones herself because she has FOMO. That was season three. So it's been quite some time since we've had a centered episode around her. And this was a great episode. This was pretty slow. I thought it was going to be this sort of rivalry thing. And maybe we see kind of her bounce back after kind of feeling sad. Or maybe I thought it was going to head in that direction where she actually does get more deep in her sadness. And then we see it and they kind of work through it. But it didn't really get like that because she motivated herself. That's a amazing quality that she has. Like, even if she gets down, she doesn't let that affect herself. I don't know. To me, like, that's just inspiring to see that. When she was doing the competition, she kind of realized that her main priority for doing this is that is for that person to have fun, to actually be enjoying themselves. And she noticed that that just wasn't happening. So she took the very honorable and humble approach to it and said that she lost and has to admit it. Again, stop being prideful. I don't think there was a message at the end there, but I think we can kind of surmise a little bit that it's about, again, yeah, just not being so prideful about working together. And if you're doing things for other people, not to do that out of this belief of, oh, I can only do this. And even as when Rainbow Dash was reassuring her that yeah, she is the permanent Ponyville party planner. She's, you know, just this one guy comes in. Yeah, he's so awesome. But, you know, there's no replacing you. Then we got Cheese Sandwich's story. That was actually kind of heartbreaking. And it actually shows why he is very ostentatious and very open. Because as a child, he's very ignored and just forgotten about. So now he wants to go to every place so people know his name. And the crazy part, too, is that he came to Ponyville and was inspired by Pinkie Pie. So we saw a little bit of young Pinkie Pie. Again, just wow, the the way that they connected all these things together and the way they executed the episode. Uh, yeah, um, wow, that's just impressive. I don't know what the writers are on this season, but their storytelling has just like jumped up a big level. I'm not sure if they just got better with their writing, if they have better staff, if they have a certain someone in there that's just kind of monitoring everything or the budget. I don't know what's going on, but um, the season's really proving to be high quality, still fresh ideas. And I'm just really impressed with, again, a lot of the direction they, that they take the ponies. Because again, I, I was really gonna not be so invested with Cheese Sandwich. I didn't really care for him or I thought, oh, okay, just a random character. Oh, and we're gonna just give Pinky this story and that's it. But no, actually, Towards the end, it just got very compelling and honest and yeah, dang, that was impressive. That was impressive. That was a, that's an underrated one. I think there's more analysis when we think of when Rarity was going through her thing or sometimes with Fluttershy, but this is an interesting way to attack Pinky's sort of identity. And I kind of hope we get more because Pinky is an awesome character. Again, I think if we harbor one where she gets really upset, really sad, and kind of dwells in it, I think that's going to be a 10 out of 10 episode. <laughs> um, but we shall see. But at the end of the day, this episode was great. All right, guys. That's me for me. It's, it's weird not clapping, but I just did it. Thank you for joining me on another underrated, surprising Pinky episode. And... I'll see you. Good night. See you.